traditionally, uh, you know, mines use really large equipment, 200 ton, 300 ton, 400 ton haul trucks, giant shovels, and they all have uh, hundreds of condition monitoring points on the vehicles. But traditionally, those, those sensor points could only be accessed when a vehicle either had a failure and was dragged into a repair bay uh, or when it just went in for normal maintenance. But once you put in a, a kinetic mesh network, all the vehicles in a mine are connected to their condition monitoring software 24-7. So in the, in the one mine I'm talking about, the, uh, Kine the uh, Kennecott Copper Mine uh, out in Salt Lake City, it's actually a 5,000 foot deep mine. It's a mile deep, but it's an open cut mine. In that mine, prior to installing our network, 25 haul trucks on average per day would be in the repair depot out of about 200 vehicles. So 10% of the fleet would be out of production and be in the repair depot being worked on. Once a network was established, once a kinetic mesh network allowed continuous connectivity, the number of vehicles in the repair depot dropped from 25 per day to nine per day. So it's as if the mine picked up 16 extra vehicles just for the cost of the network. And each vehicle is about two and a half million dollars. So that's a great example from mining. And I assume this technology is applicable to other industries. It is. For instance, we have uh, customers in the oil and gas industry. We have a very large oil and gas field uh, in southwest Texas that has, it covers maybe 100 square miles and has three or 400 different wells. Uh, traditionally, the owner of the, of the oil field had to send a team of pickup truck drivers personally and individually to each well during the day to grab SCADA information about the performance of different equipment uh, on the well. And so as you can imagine, that takes a lot of people, a lot of time, and the information is not real time. It's a day old or two days old by the time it finds its way back to headquarters. So once you put a kinetic mesh network in, all the information at the wellhead becomes available all the time in real time. 